Councilwoman Cataldi? Present. Councilman Dean? Here. Supervisor Nesbitt? Here. Councilwoman Mazo? Present. Councilman Nesbitt? Here. Okay, we're here this morning to uh, conduct a special meeting for consider the bonding for improvements to the Donald Webster Wastewater Treatment Plant. The reason why we're having this early morning meeting was the official newspaper of the town of Webster, the Webster Herald, failed to print a legal notice in the uh, first week of August that uh, by them not printing that, we could not hold this meeting on August 30th as scheduled. So we had to go to September 4th so that we can file our application with the state of New York for a $3 million grant on this project by uh, Friday. So that's why the special meeting this morning at 8 a.m. This is a public hearing to consider bonding for improvements to the Town of Webster Wastewater Treatment Plant. We are bonding $12 million for um, Phase 1 Wastewater Treatment Plant improvements for secondary clarifiers, uh, emergency generator, and authorizing the town to submit applications to New York State uh, Environmental uh, Corporation for grant funding. Like I said, we'll be doing that by Friday is the cutoff date on that. Uh, according to Bond Council, um, we have a couple resolutions to do this morning, but this is a public hearing, so I will open it for any comments by the public. Public hearing is now open. I yes, ma'am. I don't understand why this is a public hearing if this isn't convenient for all the residents to come. Doesn't it have to be. be doesn't have to be convenient, ma'am. It has to be a public hearing, properly notified in the newspaper and on the uh, clerk's bulletin board, and all of those conditions have been met. Eight o'clock in the morning when people are at work, ready after a holiday when people are going back to work, school starting this week. Did you hear what I said in the beginning, ma'am? This was not our mistake. The mistake I was made. That, the mistake was made by the official newspaper of the town of Webster, the Webster Herald. They made a mistake in August by not printing the affidavit and the notice in the paper. So for in order for us to get $3 million grant money, which is necessary for this project, we have to hold the meeting today to get that in by Friday. It couldn't be in the evening. No, ma'am. May I please have your name and address? For Laurel the Reynolds, 138 Jetson. Laurel. Laurel. Laurel Reynolds. And what is your address, ma'am? 138 Jetson Street. Thank we you. still have a lot of work to do on this grant application by Friday. So we had to have the hearing today to make sure that we got this application in on time, ma'am. It, it was, no it was nobody's fault here. <laughs> it was nobody's fault. The Webster Herald, the official newspaper of the, Web, town board, uh, of the town of Webster, failed to print the legal notice. Okay? You call them on the phone. They failed to print the legal notice. That mandated us to go here. There's time frames. So many days of legal notice. So many days in the paper, so many days to the public hearing. And when was it? I understand all that. Okay, thank but you very I, much. When was it posted in the Webster Hill? It was posted, it was posted um, on the 22nd, wasn't it? Yes. yes. Okay. So there has been time for public comments since yes. it was posted? Correct. Yes. Yeah, it was over two weeks ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And actually, this matter's been, for, just for clarification, I believe this matter's been before the town board and been published numerous times in the paper going back to about a year and a half, I think. This is nothing new. This has been right. going on since 2017. With zero comment. Right. Yes. And information so I saw. This is the, I've got the record. I've got the, right. the clippings. This has been, this is nothing, this is not a, a new project. This has been going on. I've got to say, I've got a clipping and notice a meeting back in May 31st, 2017, Webster Herald. So this is nothing new. This is not something that has just come about. This is some of the town board and the Sewer department has been working on it for the change over a year and a half. It's a two and a half million money. dollar increase. Yes, ma'am, because of the costs that have increased during that period of time, since we got the original engineer's estimate. There's not anything we can do about cost increase, except get enough money in the bond to cover those cost increases. Where did Mrs. Ross say she went? She lives at 138 Jackson Street. I don't think this impacts a village resident at all. Okay. This is we a special, this is, this is a uh, town-wide sewer district, and it only affects the people in the town of Webster. 
Oh, the village was part of the town the last night. Not check. with respect to the sewer. Not it? respect to the sewer. Well, he just said that Not people in, in the town. It, you, you clarify that to just the sewer district. Thank you. Can I have your name and address, please? For Richard the Walter, 20 Elm Street. Thank you. In the village. Okay, anyone have other public, public comment? I want to close the public hearing. I would like to continue on that. As the, the question is, why was the Herald notice waited to the just about the end before it was put in the Herald? If we've been working on this for so long, why wasn't the project in completion to a point two months before the deadline? Why did we wait to the right up to the deadline to schedule the public hearing that we had to have? We, uh, we could have had it two weeks ago if the Herald had published. I understand, but. Why was it wait down to almost the very end? Why didn't we finalize these plans two months ago or three months ago so that they, we weren't up against a deadline if somebody screwed up like the Herald did, as you state? Okay. Any other comments? No answer to that question. Thank you. No other comments? Public hearing is now closed, and we will move on to... The bonding improvements for the town of Webster wastewater treatment plant. Okay, I will move that uh, in accordance with the town law section 202B, determining that it is in the public interest to undertake improvements to the town of Webster consolidated sewer district consisting of the phase one wastewater treatment plant improvement project, secondary clarifiers, and emergency generator, and authorizing the town to submit applications to the regular to the New York State and Environmental Facilities Corporation for grant funding and financial assistance and connection within. Um, whereas the town board and New York State Department of Environmental Conservation are each an involved <coughs> agency within the meaning of the State Environmental Quality Review Act with respect to the actions proposed to be undertaken in connection with the project on or around June 1, 2017, the Town Board provided notice of its intent to be lead agency to the New York State uh, uh, Department of Environmental Conservation for the purpose of conducting a coordinated review under SEEKER and with the involved agency. Um, whereas the Town Board received written notification from New York State on June 15, 2017, Stating it had no objection to the town board establishing it itself as the lead agency for seeker, whereas uh, by a resolution adopted on June 15, 2017, the town board classified that the project as a type one action under seeker and established itself as the lead agency, whereas the town sent a negative declaration to the environmental notice bulletin on or around June 21st for publication. Um, uh, whereas the town board has now been advised by the engineer and its amended map plan and report with respect to the project dated August 2018 and accompanying cost estimates that the estimated maximum cost of the project has increased from $9,480,000 to $12 million due to the projected increases in project costs. Whereas the town clerk has called us, caused the notice of such public hearing to be published in the Webster Herald on August 22nd, 2018, and to be posted on the Town Clerk's Bulletin Board at 1000 Ridge Road, Webster, New York, in the manner prescribed in Section 202B of the Town Law, and to be posted on the Town's website on August 20th, 2018, which notice contained a description of the project and specified the re revised estimated maximum cost therein to be of $12 million. Uh, after such public hearing and upon evidence given, the Town Board hereby determines that it is in the public interest to undertake the project, that the acquisition, uh, construction, and equip equipping of the pro project at a maximum estimated cost of $12 million, inclusive of all professional costs and all other necessary costs uh, to such work as hereby approved, uh, that the Town Board hereby authorizes the Town Supervisor to submit, submit an application on behalf of the Town for grant funding under the New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation application grant program relative to the project, including but not limited to uh, the WCWSRF uh, program 
and to execute any agreements, instruments, or other documents in connection with the town's acceptance of any such grants. Uh, the town supervisor hereby designated as the authorized representative of the town uh, or all aspects of the project, including all application and district financing purposes. So be it. Second. Thank you. Supervisor Nesbitt? Aye. Councilman McCauley? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman Diesel, thank you. <laughs> We're all out of order here. Is there one for all of us? <laughs> I've got TXs on my mind, thank you. Okay. Uh, next, we have a uh, regular town building a resolution to amend and re restate the prior bond re resolution of the town board of uh, the town of Webster from June 22, 2017. Amend and, re and restate bond resolution of the town board of the town of Webster, Monroe County, New York, amending and restating in its entirety the board resolution dated June 22, 2017, relating to the construction reconstruction and installation of certain <coughs> upgrades and improvements to the Town of Webster Consolidated Sewer District Wastewater Treatment Plant, stating the maximum estimated cost thereof is $12 million, appropriating set amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of up to $10,500,000 in bonds of the town to finance a portion of said appropriation, whereas by resolutions dated on June 15th, 2017, the town board of the town declared itself lead agency for the purposes of conducting an environmental review of undertaking the proposed improvements to be included in the district in accordance with the New York State Environmental Quality Review Act. Um, uh, whereas by a resolution dated uh, September 4, 2017, adopted immediately prior to the consideration of this resolution in accordance with Section 202B of the Town Law, the Town Board determined it to be in the public interest to undertake the project at the increased maximum cost of $12 million. I'm not going to read all to um, Excuse me. Uh, I was just advised by okay. Attorney Genesis. On which page is that? The second page. Page two. Page two. Whereas page two, by resolution dated right. September 4th. Oh, thank you. Okay. We caught the one on the front. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, therefore, it be resolved by the Town Board of the Town of Webster, Monroe County, New York, by a favorable vote of not less than two thirds of all members of such body to amend and restate the original bond resolution in its entirety to read as follows. And Tom Corp will put that in the minutes. That's my motion. Second. Thank you. Supervisor Nesbitt? Aye. Councilman Dean? Aye. Councilman McTaldi? Aye. Councilman Mazo? Aye. Councilman Abbott? Aye. Okay. That will conclude this morning's special town board meeting. Thank you very much. We have the time. The Thank you. Thank you. All set. Thank you. Are there copies of that document available for the public? I can give today? you an official copy if you want to foil it. Um, it's not complete yet. So. I meant the itinerary that you guys were oh, reading sure. on the cover. Sure. The, the actual stuff that Ron was reading, that I have to foil that? Yes. Yeah, because they're not official until I, it's the resolutions that I have to prepare. Okay. These are just blanks. So there's no there's no public input in the we already special have that. We have that. Okay, so that was it at the yeah. outset. Yes. Okay. Yeah, we opened just, the hearing. That's okay. I'm just curious. Why the public input comes ahead of reading all that stuff? Why wouldn't it come after, just from a common sense standpoint? We don't know what we're commenting on. So you're here. You're right. you are, you are, yes, and you're very welcome to ask for anything prior to the meeting. We had it published in the newspaper. Okay. 
I don't read that newspaper, so I guess I, I missed that.